Hi, Shannon here with the Shannon Jones team. And today's question is, what's a pocket listing? Well, it's not a house that fits in my pocket. It is a listing that is not in the multiple listing service or MLS, which means that it doesn't get syndicated to all the big search sites that consumers look on. So why would a seller want to sell their home without actually having it fully exposed to the market? Well, there's a variety of reasons, but a lot of times it's because sellers don't want someone to know that the home is on the market. So it could be a neighbor, it could be tenants, uh, it could be someone else, or they don't want the hassle of having a lot of showings and a sign in the yard. So sometimes a pocket listing is a somewhat informal arrangement where a homeowner or property owner says to an agent, I don't want to list with you, but if you brought me a buyer, I would sell it. More often though, traditionally, a pocket listing is one where the agent actually uh, has a signed listing agreement with the seller, but it specifies that the property won't go on the open market, won't go on the multiple listing service, and won't be marketed. There are some restrictions um, that were put in place by the National Association of Realtors on how pocket listings should be treated. So if you're a seller, is a pocket listing a good idea? Not usually, because for sellers, having the property fully exposed on the open market so that you can leverage the interest of potential buyers is usually going to be in your best interest, particularly when we're in as strong a seller's market as we are right now. But what if you're a buyer? Well, it can be beneficial to connect with local real estate agents who are connected with other local real estate agents to see if there's any off-market opportunities that could work for you. If you have any other questions, let us know. Thanks.